Your challenge right now is that the salesperson has never been less important to the buyer than right now. Think about those words for a minute. The salesperson has never been less important to the buyer than right now. See, back in the day, the salesperson used to be the font of our knowledge, where the buyer got their information from, where the decision maker understood how the market was working, where they got knowledge on the competition. But all that information now is available to the buyer at the click of a button. So how does today's salesperson ensure they remain relevant? That's a massive challenge. And what I find now, the transfer of power has shifted from the salesperson to the buyer. So what's happening is the buyer is taking control of the sales process. The salesperson isn't getting the questions answered. They're not able to understand the problems or challenges and position any value whatsoever to the buyer. So they end up falling in line with the buyer's process and the buyer gets their outcome, but the salesperson might not get theirs. So the buyer gets good value for money, a cheaper price, plays people off against each other, but a lot of salespeople don't win the business. And that has to change. Because there's too many salespeople right now that have been given the runaround by decision makers, beaten up by buyers and are turning into beggars rather than sellers. And that's because sales has fallen out of favour. And people said, oh, we've got the internet now, we don't need salespeople. We've got social media, we don't need to sell. We can just market to people and they'll come to our door. Not true. Or they certainly won't come to your door, buy your products at the prices you want to charge. So buyers are now defining the specifications of what they want. Decision makers are telling you the way the process is going to work. Your, your customers and your prospects are telling you how much you're going to charge them for your product or service. That's ridiculous. Your customers and prospects are telling you how much you're going to charge for your product or service. Because they'll, th they'll say things to you like, oh, we've only got this amount of budget, or that's all we can spend on that area this year. When did it become right that the buyer determined the price we're going to pay? And that's because the impact of the salesperson on the process is less than ever before. That has to change. So we have to take control back of the sales process. We have to position ourselves as valuable to the decision maker. Even the language of salespeople needs to change. In my travels around the world working salespeople in 25 countries, I see a massive challenge with the language we use. So I even find salespeople now saying things like, thank you for the opportunity to quote. Thank you for the opportunity to quote. They're not doing us a favour by making us do loads of paperwork and pricing with maybe no chance of winning the order. We're doing them a favour by giving them the opportunity to change something in their business, to add value to their business. Oh, thank you for the opportunity to quote. So we run away, we produce this brilliant quotation, this great presentation, bring it back in, they sit with it and do nothing. Then we follow it up, maybe a few days later, a week later, a couple of weeks later. The buyer doesn't return the phone call. So they send an email. Never comes back to us. Yet we've got this opportunity lodged in our sales pipeline that's going to close in quarter two of this year that now we're not able to be able to talk to the buyer. They're not coming back to us. Here's the challenge. If the buyer isn't returning your phone calls or emails, here's the brutal truth. You are not important enough to them for them to get back to you. You've lost all your value in the sales process and they're saying, I've no further need to speak to you at this stage because I've got all the information I want. So here's a couple of tips on what you can do about that. Number one, do not give the buyer all the information they need to be able to get rid of you in the sales process. Because once they have all that information, they have no further need for you whatsoever. The only time we should give the buyer all the information they require is when they are ready to make a purchase. Most salespeople I initially work with have no idea if their buyer is ready to make a purchase or not. That's a massive problem. So to give them all the information they need, because that's a good service policy, and the buyer goes away and comes back to them on their timelines, on their timescales, and possibly not at all. So we've got to hold something back that's of value that makes them come back to us. We've got to know what the next steps are in our sales process and how we progress them, and we take that opportunity ourselves to make the next step, not the buyer. 